Hello and welcome to Art and Animation's Introduction to Adobe Animate. In this tutorial we are going to look at managing workspaces. Our workspace here is on and around the canvas. We can make changes to this if we like. Let's see what our options are. We go to the Windows main menu, then we go down to Workspaces on the drop down menu. We see a sub-menu appear when we move the cursor to Workspaces. We are now on the classic workspace. There are several to choose from. Let's choose Basic just to see the difference. You will notice that this is a very different layout compared to the classic one. We can see that there is a button on the top right that also allows you to switch workspace types as seen in the video. Let's stick to the classic mode for now. If you find that you like an other type of workspace, you can make that your default setting. The next thing we are going to look at is customizing our workspace. If you are not comfortable with any of the preset workspace layout and want to create your own, you can do that too. Please keep up with the video and you will notice how you can customize your workspace. When you find the layout you are comfortable with, you can save that customization and use it as your default every time you open Adobe Animate. As seen in the video, you can go to the button at your right. You will see a dialog box under New Workspace. Let's call this New Workspace and then click the icon next to the box, which will save our new workspace. When we go back and click the same button, you will notice that our new workspace has been saved under the saved label. You will also find the delete or the trash icon and also reset icon next to that, which means you can delete your customized workspace or reset it to default. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.